Um, and while everyone's coming out with brutally honest truths, I guess I should come forward and say there is a chance the supplements you're taking for stress, like ashwagandha, are actually making you feel worse. Everyone's talking about high cortisol right now, but no one's talking about low cortisol, which is just as common, especially in women. When you have low cortisol, you feel so burnt out and your body's basically running off of exhaustion. So you feel overwhelmed by small tasks. Even if you get enough sleep the night before, you feel exhausted in the morning, you crave salty foods, and sometimes you feel dizzy when you stand up. To put it bluntly, it just feels like your motivation has been sucked out of your body. Cortisol is your stress hormone and not all of it is bad. Follow something called a diurnal curve. So it's supposed to peak in the morning time to help you wake up and function and then it drops off at night to help you sleep. If your curve is more flat because you have low cortisol, adaptogens like ashwagandha are not going to help you. So what actually helps low cortisol? The complex vitamins in the morning are amazing for energy metabolism. Licorice root helps slow the breakdown of cortisol. Drinking electrolytes like sodium because low cortisol affects your kidney ability to retain sodium. Get morning sunlight as soon as you wake up because this helps reset your cortisol curve. Stop taking cortisol lowering adaptogens because they're just making you feel worse.